Do you think you'd have got this opportunity anywhere else? I do not believe so, no. I would like to do this again, maybe a different place or something, because it is quite enjoyable. You learn a lot about history as well, about these type of places. So, overall, it's quite a brilliant It's hugely important. I mean, working with your hands has been devalued and is looked down on and that's the wrong way around. It should be celebrated and we need people to have these skills and to use these skills and what we find with heritage work and with traditional mortars they find it very interesting and they find it satisfying and they feel they're doing the right thing which they are we mm -hmm. hope mm -hmm. uh, and um, it gives them it gives them more than just the hand skills if, mm -hmm. if they start to appreciate old buildings what they represent what they are and the, the legacy that they are of all the work done by people like them in the past. So we have nearly come to the end of our upskilling experience working with Wakefield College and we are at the end of the second big assessment day. Uh, we've had lots of heritage experts on site from Historic England, from the Historic Builders, and I have to say that the students that we've been working with have been outstanding. Um, they have e expressed real passion and talent and skill and those combination of all those those things have been brought together under the training program that we've put together here working with Lee Gillard from the Yorkshire Lime Company and Nigel Copsey. Of course it is about upskilling, it is about training, it's also about conservation work, most particularly conserving and preserving and honouring our chapel, our Unitarian Chapel here in Wakefield. For me, it combines my two passions, education and heritage. What an absolute joy it's been to work with Wakefield Council, with Jonathan um, at, at Wakefield College. More of it, more of it. <laughs>